what's the most useless or bad mechanic that's uh that you've seen in a fighting game uh as birdman terrence rubs his hands uh <laughs> there's been a lot of different you know uh mechanics that are in games that many people have found issue with you know a lot of people find issue with x factor because it's too broken a lot of people fan find uh you know fault with pandora and uh Tekken, what is it? street fighter cross Tekken because they said it was basically useless uh, you know, a lot of people find something wrong with uh, the Tekken mechanics, the mechanics, the raise drives, and the raise arts and stuff like that in Tekken. But for you guys, what's the worst one or the most, you know, the one that was, uh, I don't want to say the most bad. I sound like a kindergartner. But which one is the worst one for you guys? Uh, starting with you, Mr. Gamer. Oh, man, the worst fighting game mechanic. Um... Uh, so I'm is this just like poorly made or like just was in 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 any sense like the most broken poorly made just it could be whichever one you want I mean if you want to say the most broken or if you want to say like you know this one is just they they it did a horrible job like you know whichever one you want to say or well, you could say both I have two in mind but I, I think I'm gonna go with my second thought. My first thought was Guard Council and Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, it's almost like, what's the point? Uh, you just, I feel like with defensive mechanics, you need to, it needs to be a guaranteed get off me. Um, but that's that's the other one I think about. But I think I'm going to say V Reversal in uh, Street Fighter V. Um, I just, I hate, the, I, I hate the thought of wasting a meter or wasting resources to get a, get someone off me and then use those resources and they're still on me <laughs> <laughs> like i waste so i i built that meter i could have beat you good but i built all that and wasted and they still on like fame i play fame he has one of the worst like he can get he can get grabbed out of his view versus multiple characters they can get grabbed out of view versus i'm like what's the point then I, I just me person. I feel like having a defensive mechanic, and especially if you're using resources to do said mechanic, it should be a guaranteed get off of me. If I remember correctly, back in the Alpha series, they had uh, Alpha counters. You got off of it. It wasn't no, oh, I'm gonna bait his Alpha counter, and then I'm really showing this combo I just learned. No, it was, God, get off me, get away from me, <laughs> guaranteed. Um. Street Fighter Cross Tekken had alpha counters. I think would, I don't think you could bait. I think it was the same thing. You press, I think both mediums and forward at the same time or back while you're blocking. Get off me, get away from me. So I just it's like nowadays a lot of defensive. It's like well you got to have a counter. Well what's the point of what's the point of having a defensive mechanic like this? Just make it free then. Like what's the point? So I don't know. Like even something like combo breakers and ki. It's like. To me, those are cool. It's a good defensive mechanic because it actually takes a bit. It's that's actually a pretty deep uh, defensive mechanic. Like you have to kind of guess what your opponent is gonna press, and they might be able to switch it up the next combo. They might not do the same strength button, so you have to guess like light, medium, heavy breakers. It's like okay, there's a, a level of back and forth with this with both players. It's like if I guess wrong, I guess wrong, but it's not like oh I I, I use this meter to do this and it's like they're still on me. That's just my opinion. I just feel like you know the fact that. When I get when I view a versa and I still like the fact that first of all with Street Fighter Five, some people's view of versus are different. I feel like you make a defensive mechanic. I think it all should be straight across the board. Some characters dash roll through you. Some characters hit you, knock you back. So it's almost like me and my homeboy uh, Dupree Gazelle. He plays fame. He had the same thing. Like, what's the point of like some characters having you get off me and like I'm just gonna dash through you and then get grabbed? So I just feel you gonna put a defensive mechanic in the game make it to where it's a get off me if i'm spending resources to get you hypothetically off me you should be off of me you shouldn't i shouldn't waste my v trigger and you throw me like what so i just feel like some defensive mechanics are just like you know it's just even breakaway i break away in mk11 is it's cool i feel but i don't know sometimes it just feels like i broke away to get super like what like <laughs> Just make a combo breaker. Like, I don't know. I just, I just, it's just really weird. Like, 
oh, he's going to break away. I'm going to bait his break away with my super. Like, like, I don't know. And it is, you can still take damage. I mean, MK11, it's a little different. It works a little different, but I just still sometimes, man, when I get super through a breakaway, I'm just like, bro, I wasted resources to get combo. I literally just, I, I might, you might as well just give me a bar that says combo me, a combo me bar. And it's when I fill this bar up, I activate that bar and you combo me for free. Like, it don't matter where I'm at on the screen. You just, you just damage me for free. Like, what's the point? Like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like in certain like games nowadays we let's let's get back to having solid get off me mechanics. If it's a if it's a mechanic especially that takes resources, get away from me, sir or madam. Get on your side of the screen. If I'm wasting meter for this, I'm like, bro, what what I just wasted resources. And in, in Street Fighter Five is worse because like I said, V trigger not only it's not only tied to your view versus it's tied to your V trigger and now your V shift. So and even V shift can get punished, but it's like I get, I get it just depends on certain things. But it's like, bro, when the fact that I was seeing people get grabbed out of view versus and like I said specifically, fame for me because he doesn't he doesn't attack you. He just does a little side shuffle through you, and it's like, oh, I shuffle and get grabbed. Like the salt I will feel. I'm like, bro, I just wasted resources to get grabbed. Now I'm back in a situation I was trying to get out of. Thank you. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> So, uh, my my personally personally worst game mechanic I've actually mentioned on here before, and I'm gonna, probably going to sound like I'm beating a dead horse, but my the worst uh, game mechanic to me is fighting EX layers go, uh, Gogi um, uh, mechanic, and um, Rexon knows how bad this can get, is uh, uh, how bad it can get because basically what what happens is is that depending on what you do during a match, you get certain uh, certain buffs, you know, depending on what the deck is that you're using. And uh, some of them, like one of them is like, you know, you get to get out of like a combo once per once per match or something like that. You know, one of them, you know, you get like super armor and stuff. Now, the thing about it is, is that the super armor one is one of the worst ones. In fact, it's one of the worst ones because it's, it's not like, oh, I got to do anything except get hit. Like it's almost... Like, all I got to do is get hit a bunch of times, I think. I think that's all you do is take damage. It might, I might be wrong. Either way, man, like, if you get hit, like, a bunch of times and now you, like, you got, like, steel skin, because you can tell that they got it, because, number one, you're going to hit them in the face and they're going to be, like, walking through your, walking through it like that you just threw a piece of paper at them. Number two, you're going to hear that ding, ding, ding. Like, if, like, uh, if anybody remembers and um, if you played the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike and uh, Urian blocks a move, it sounds like you're punching metal. Like, it's something like that. So... That I think was one of the worst things ever. I mean, people were, people don't like it. I don't, I didn't like it too much because I feel like it's like, I don't know, it, it didn't add anything to the game. All it does, it's, it feels, it always felt really cheap, um, especially like moves that, like, you know, I, I don't know, like some of them like let you recover like super meter over time and stuff like that. It, it just seemed like, it, it was almost like there were hacks within the match and stuff like that, where I just kind of be like, yo, we played the match without any of this extra stuff. Like, can I just play? I just want to play. I want to play Skullamania versus Pullum, or, you know, I want to play like Darun versus like uh, Kyrie or something like that. Like, those, I just want to play one on one. I don't want these extra weird things happening, you know, because let's be honest, if you're, um, if you're starting off playing the game, you're just kind of picking a deck at random. You're not really like looking at, oh, let me see what do all these cards do. You're just picking a deck because you're trying to get to the match. So then you pick a deck and then like you're fighting somebody, all of a sudden they start glowing. You're like, hey, what is that? And then now like they're invisible or something. It's like, whoa, why are they invisible? What, what happened? I thought I was playing like uh, fighting EX Slayer, not Mortal Kombat. Like, what is it? What? Are you reptile now? Like it's, it like all this weird stuff starts just happening during the match and you don't understand why it's happening. That's the thing is that because like, because like some like, people like me aren't reading the decks because you're just kind of going in and just playing the game. You're just kind of like, yo, what, what's all this stuff? It's like, you're, you're out in the wilderness and it starts raining or something like that. And you're just kind of like, Oh, okay. And then like a monster just like comes up out of the ground. Like, Whoa, Whoa, Whoa. It's just raining. What are you doing here? Like, it's just like all this weird stuff. Like, and then all of a sudden, like, it's basically like, it's like a fighting game as far as I'm concerned. It's like you, you start the match and then somebody gets hit a couple times and you go from being in a match to basically being in the Bermuda Triangle. 
like like all this crazy stuff is going on like you're the, like 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 uh, you're the beginning of the, the intro to the twilight zone where like you know like rod sterling is talking about you're entering the room of, 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 of sight but of, but of mind what's that sign post up ahead it's the twilight zone that's that's what playing fighting ex layer is like like it's like it's like it's like being in the twilight zone. It's like being in the twilight zone, thinking you're in a normal situation and then ridiculous stuff starts happening. That with the Gogi system, that system, that like, you know, they had like, a, uh, I remember one of my buddies was telling me they had the April Fool's version of the game where they took the Gogi system out of the game. And people were like, please, please, please keep this the way it is. Don't bring back the Gogi system. Just make the, make the April Fool's version the normal version. And I'm like, yeah, I agree with that because the Gogi system is just ridiculous, man. I, I kind of, I feel like they kind of made a mess. And it's not, and you know what the problem with it is? You can't turn it off. There's no way to turn it off. Like, you can turn it off in, like, training mode, but in all your versus modes, there's no way to turn it off. You know, it, I wouldn't complain about it if I could turn it off. If I'd be like, oh, you're done. No, you can't turn it off. It is, it, it is inextricably tied into the game. There's no way to get rid of it, except on April Fool's. So, yeah, man, I would say that that is my worst game mechanic, fighting game mechanic, or worst my normal game mechanic, but that's a, talk, that's a talk for another time. So, uh, Rexon, you mentioned them uh, at the beginning. Um, I had them written down, funny enough, uh, Pandora and X-Factor. So I'll say that in terms of useless, yeah, Pandora has to be one of the most useless mechanics of all time. Like, even, like... I think 10 years later, I forgot when Street, I think Street Fighter Cross Tekken came out in 2012. We're almost 10 years later and nobody, like, you know, some mechanics, people find out stuff later on down the line. And we're in an age now where people are able to figure stuff out quicker. You know, in the past, like in the arcade days, you know, it took years for people to find certain stuff. But now most people find, figure out a game within like a, a year or two. But it's been almost 10 years and nobody has figured out the purpose of pandora like what it's so circumstantial that it feels like a mechanic that somebody thought of and just tossed it in the game and it's like yeah well th this is really going to kill him i mean it looks cool don't get me wrong the way that <laughs> you can sacrifice your character but it, it it just serves no purpose and in a game where timeouts were a big thing at least in the first version of the game it it, it added nothing to it. So in terms of useless mechanic, yeah, Pandora is, is probably the most useless mechanic in a fighting game of all time in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Um, in terms of bad mechanics, it's funny. There was one that I just thought of um, that uh, didn't even come to mind earlier, but as the more that you all were talking about is something that came, that I thought of. Uh, tripping in, in Smash Brawl, that that ruined the game oh. like that is what um honestly that that that's like one of the mechanics that's probably the mechanic that made people just put that game down competitively because it's just random you, you could just trip at any time and i understand what nintendo was trying to do like pretty much their purpose with brawl was to bring smash back to like its casual party fighter vibe and not make it competitive at all pretty much it was them ignoring the competitiveness of melee and trying to go back to make smash essentially like the mario party of fighters and yeah congratulations they definitely did it with brawl <laughs> with the tripping mechanic and like i didn't even play smash brawl like that but i just heard so much about tripping and how terrible of a mechanic was that i know that somebody in the comments or on twitter or whatever they're going to bring this up bring that up if uh, this conversation comes up uh, for me, in terms of another mechanic that is just a bad mechanic, yeah, it's X Factor. And the reason why I say X Factor in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is bad is that um, it skews too far in terms of a comeback mechanic. You know, when you have comeback mechanics, like there are comeback mechanics in all They're sorts all of fighting same. games, and there's nothing wrong, there's nothing inherently wrong with comeback mechanics. But when you skew a comeback mechanic way too far, you get X Factor, especially vanilla Marvel vs. Capcom 3 X Factor. Oh my goodness. Like that <laughs> was just game breaking. And granted, if um if Marvel if uh Capcom got another chance to update the game like later on, uh 
they probably would have toned down X Factor even more than what they had in uh, Ultimate. But just as it stands, even in Ultimate, the mechanic is broken. You should not be able to pop level three X Factor and just come back on a whole team like that. that. That's the thing. You can pop X Factor on a character like Virgil or Dark Phoenix and just literally come back on an entire like three man team. We're not even talking like two or just one person. Three man team and just come back in like 10 seconds. That's ridiculous. That should not be a thing. Yeah, you said so, you wanted a comeback mechanic. Huh? You said What's you that? you said you wanted a comeback mechanic, bro. I gave you exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you did. You gave me a comeback mechanic, all right. Yeah, but it it just it just leans too far into the comeback side of things. Like if you're going to do a comeback mechanic, it needs to be at least fair to the person who's winning because the thing is if you're winning yeah. you deserve to win you don't deserve to lose because you're winning like that's that that sentence in and of itself is kind of <laughs> trippy yeah. right there but yeah if you're winning a round you don't you don't deserve to just be robbed of that round because you were playing well you shouldn't be punished for playing well is essentially what i'm getting at and so x factor just skews way too far on that in terms of giving the losing player this huge comeback that um they can get later on in the round so yeah in terms of most useless mechanic i'd say pandora from street fighter cross tekken bad mechanics i'd say tripping from smash brothers brawl and Van i'll say i'll at least give ultimate the benefit of the doubt that x factor is toned down but vanilla marvel 3 x factor no nah, that was way too much so i definitely say yeah that was a bad mechanic <clears throat> yeah, all the mechanics you guys have said are, are definitely some to look back on. From Devin's comeback mechanic with V reversal, you know, I'd, I'd be watching some tournaments and stuff, and you know, it's like dude to be getting pressured, then somebody re reversals, and then the dude's like that. That was cute, and then just goes back to doing what he was doing, and it's and it's just like why? <laughs> it's just like like why is that? Why is that even here? Like he nothing happened. But um, yeah, definitely. When I was playing uh, fighting Ex Leia with uh, with Evan, I mean, you could be in there, you know, uh, doing your thing, and you like, yeah, I'm finna take this, and then next thing you know, Evan's vanished in the thin air, and I'm just like, all right, here we go. Like I I I, I, was, I, I was two hits away from winning, but then next thing you know, shenanigans, and it was like you couldn't control it, like the like, it just happened, like, and then some matches it just wouldn't happen, and I'm like, okay, so when it was, yeah. like. What? <laughs> like the the game is deciding our fates like <laughs> like decide decide the destiny round one <laughs> was it who decides across the fate yeah you can't escape from chasing fate <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was it was just wonky i'm just like you know like okay all right i guess the game just you know it has favorites uh, definitely with X Factor. X Factor was something that I used to just love watching. Uh, the end of a Marvel match where you can got a dude down to the last character and it's Virgil, and then next thing you know, he immediately hops in for Sachi Belt, turning the demon mode. X Factor, and then it's like, yeah, okay, the party didn't start it now. Like here we go. Like it, with the match ain't started until right now. Like it ain't started till you pop V Trigger. I mean, I V Trigger uh, X Factor. Uh, and definitely Dark Phoenix. That was horrible, man. Like, that was just, oh. that was horrible. Like, I'm talking about, like, what is this man supposed to do? Like, I literally just saw his his life bar go down in the red, like somebody destroying a glass of Kool-Aid. Like, it, it was it was pretty crazy. Um, what was the other one I had? Um, but one of the things that I really didn't like, it came from the, the Smash series, and it's just like, you know, I understand what they were trying to do with Smash. Like Terrence said, when they when they went back to Brawl, they were trying to, you know, get it back to that party feel, that wonky feel and stuff like that. But the way that we always grew up playing Smash and, you know, even like I, I didn't even realize the pros were playing it like that. We were just playing it like that before because we felt like it was like the best way you play Smash. But, you know, it was all items off. It was, you know, no shenanigans, no this, no that. It was just me, you, and hands. Like, like put your hands up and we fighting. And then next thing you know, they brought in like the Smash Ball. And I'm just like... <laughs> And then you'd be playing some people, they'd be like, man, you could take all the items off, but you need the Smash Ball. You need the Smash Ball. I was like, no, bro. 
put the smash ball up and get knocked out like your dad used to. Like let let's 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 get to these hands, bro. Like you you playing like nobody's finna sit here and just be trying to mess with no Donkey Kong hitting bongos or somebody shooting a beam across the whole screen or you know you basically do your you do your link move and this man then zipped three quarters of the stage and then came and hit me just because I was in his beat line. Like we not doing that, bro. Put your hands up and stop being scared. It's me and you. We going on final destination. You ain't finna be running around Hyrule Castle and all that stuff. Put your hands up, bro. You scary. And like when they made the Smash Ball, it's just like I I, I just hated it. I was like, we not we not ever putting this on. Like no nobody ever. If you if you touching my Wii, ain't no Smash Balls. I don't know what you doing at your house, but we ain't doing that here at my house. So you know, Smash Ball was a mechanic. I just I just personally didn't like it. I can't say it was bad. I mean, you know, everything everybody said was something I've already thought of as like a bad mechanic and stuff like that. But something that was personally just sucked to me, a mechanic that just was trash, was the Smash Ball. Like, I understand what y'all want to do. It's a party game. But no, it's not. It's, you know, we y'all made, like, we just go play it how we want to play it. So, you know, always remember that. You know, stop the shenanigans. Put your hands up and get knocked out like your dad used to. So, you know, uh, anybody else have anything to add?